So, sister? So? Today's the day the disaster artist has its wide release, correct? Correct. So, um, then explain to me why the f isn't it playing here in town? As well as The Shape of Water, too. That's also supposed to come out today. Two, two movies I've been looking forward to, and neither of them are showing in town at any theater. Fun little story, last Thursday, I had misread on Google that we were getting advanced screening. I was like, okay, cool, uh, for the disaster artist. And I was like, okay, cool. So we're gonna go watch this movie. We're gonna um, go have a fun time. Yeah, we're gonna go have a fun time and everything, enjoy this film that we've all been looking forward to for so long. Long. Gonna make James Franco make a fool of himself. Again. Yes, exactly. It would have been great, but then you know what? I, I show up at the theater. Uh, my friend Nathan and I, we go up to the press box and we're like, "Hey, can we buy some tickets for the Disaster Artist?" And they're like, "Oh no, we're not showing that right now." And so I look back on Google and it says that it's playing uh, th this week, this week, as in today. Yeah. So. I'm like, well, dang it, I misread the date, so we go on to go watch Thor Ragnarok for a second time instead, because we're like, hey, what, what, what the hell else can we watch? We, we didn't get to watch it then, and Google and, like, Fandango and everything was telling us that, hey, uh, the Disaster Artist is playing at our theater. Like, whoa! It, it's gonna, it's gonna show up here, right? So, uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to go today, and... Hey, guess guess what happens? Uh, A24, the studio producing or uh, putting the film out and distributing it, decides, hey, let's pull the movie from all like a shit ton of theaters that we've already booked the films for. Cause that's a great idea, right? Oh boy! Yeah! It is. So I look on Facebook and I see an ad for the Disaster Artist. So I decide to click on it on the comments because the first comment that I see underneath the post is A24, why the hell did you pull all your showings at the very last second? Basically a bunch of people ranting about why the movie isn't playing. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, okay, cool. I guess it's not just this one. We're not suffering alone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, I guess... Uh, the moral of the story is that even if you feel alone, you're not. There's always someone sharing the exact same troubles that you're going through, and that, that as as sucky as it is, it at least always helps to know that you you yourself are not alone. You are not isolated or, in your pain. Exactly. There's always some to join hands with and acknowledge your pain with you, so you can always look forward to another brighter day, maybe. Um, Assuming that there is one. It's very cloudy out right now, and the sun's actually going down. It's in the middle of winter. Oh, we're going that way? Yeah, we're, we're gonna head off towards the park, because... Why, why not? There, there's... Call it a park, but it's really just a children's jungle gym. Yeah, that's... that's... Our school built. There's yeah. really nowhere else. Well, our old school. Old we, school. We're, we're far past these... these days. Primitive bee. Yeah, the yeah, primitive bee. <laughs> primitive bees. <laughs> <laughs> That guy. <laughs> so uh, back back to what we were saying. Uh, you you are not alone in your suffering, uh, even if you if you, if you, if you uh... there's a light shining through the darkness. Yes, yeah, so there will always be a light at the end of the tunnel because sooner or later the tunnel has to end. No matter how many twists and turns there are around that tunnel that seem to block off the other side and seem to prevent any light from leaking through, there there is always going to be an end to the struggle. Unfortunately for us, those who are looking forward to the disaster artist and shape of water. Our wait has to come like in like five, or our end of the tunnel has to come in like five months or so because that's when the home release will be in. We can finally enjoy those films. Only five months too late. I was looking forward to it because I was gonna film a review. I was gonna have it up on Friday, the day the movie comes out. But no, I've got to. I don't know. I feel like by the time that it comes out on Blu-ray, it won't even be relevant anymore. So you know what? Woo! I feel like they just knew that you specifically wanted to do all this stuff. Like they're like, "Oh, this kid in Abilene just kind of wants to film a thing." How can we ruin his how can life? We ruin his life. This well, is how. Yeah, you've, <laughs> you've broken me, A24. You've you've caused me great pain. I cried for a solid, like, at least 30 minutes. Um, I haven't cried. I heard his heart shatter. It was, it was very audible. I really wish I got it on camera. You could actually, if you were to go by, like, frame by frame, you could see the exact moment of whenever I found this out, the exact moment that my heart just shattered. And, and you could really see it. Like, like I was sitting in my room um, playing the bongos, 
And she, she's very talented. She's got a bright future ahead yeah. of her. Yeah, I do. And I just hear this crashing noise. I'm like, oh my god. It's it, not coming out. No. I just knew. We have a psychic connection. It, we, we do. Um, we're, we're very close. But yeah, so um, it, was, uh, it was pretty heartbreaking to discover this unfortunate tragedy. It's gonna follow me for the rest of my life. This is more heartbreaking than like, I don't know, whenever my... Uh, uh, this don't, is about to get too real. <laughs> don't. Very heartbreaking. Um, I wanted to kill myself right then. <laughs> here, here we are at the, uh, the jungle gym for junior high students. Yeah, so I figured to uh, try to numb the pain, I'd come out where it's like very, very frozen and cold and bitter and very, very windy to try to, like, you know, self self medicate and everything, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I figured I'd also try to have a little fun here by coming down a couple slides or a couple slides or so. Wait, which which slide should I take? Should I take the uh, should I take the bumpy bumpy, the uh, depression? Or the bumpy bumpy with a couple of speed lines for your butt to hit up against. The depression. The depression. The depression. Because that's really what I'm feeling right now. I'm about to ride life's ass. Man, look at her go. Ow. Ow. There's a lot of it. Okay, here I come. Woo! Oh boy, this is depression. This is oh, what yeah, I'm feeling. That one hurts if you it. Does it? Oh sh! Oh sh! Oh, <laughs> that, that was a lot more. That that was a pretty. That. That didn't make me feel any better. That was a pretty big letdown too. Not as big as the letdown as A24 pulling the uh, the disaster artist from theaters. And I don't remember what studio it is that's uh, producing Shape, Shape of Water. Water. I think it's Water Brothers, but whoever the f they are. I mean, you want to hold this while I zip myself up because I'm freezing here. You could watch me zip myself up my amazing dear Christmas sweater. Oh yes. Uh, I whereas, bought you that sweater. She did. It, it was pretty good. Here's the uh, pretty rigorous basketball court. It's um. It's pretty insane, you know. There's a, uh, you know, there's no boundaries. Uh, you're free, you're free to do whatever you wish, unless you're trying to see the, uh, the disaster artist. Then in which case, you just simply cannot. It's kind of like life. Yeah. It's kind of like life. It's kind of like directionless and you for have real. No clue where you're going. But, but you can see your goal. You can see your goal, but it's just how do I get there? What do I do? Where am I supposed to go? You just don't. No. It's, it's, it's an unfortunate struggle. Very, very unfortunate. Um, yeah, so... Oh, my glass is fogged up when I breathe. Oh, really? Yeah. That's, that's exciting. I almost snowed. That'd be nice if it snowed because, you know, this winter has been incredibly warm so oh, yeah. far. I can't feel my face. I know, right? Coming out here was a mistake. We should have recorded in the garage. <laughs> where it's just as cold, but there's no wind. That's and we have it, like, at least some decent lighting. Oh, I almost knocked that out of my own hand. So uh, yeah, it's really disappointing. I was looking forward to hanging out with a bunch of friends because I invited like a bunch of people yeah. to hang out with and go see this amazing film that is making it onto best film of the year lists and everything like that. But yep. so far, I'm just gonna have to skip out on that one. You know, just, uh, it's, it's unfortunate. And I remember like. I think it was September or maybe October. It might have been October that I was like seeing like oh all the advanced screening reviews for uh, Shape of Water, and I was like oh man, I'm so pumped to see this. What better be an Ape Sapien spinoff movie? Hell yeah! Because everything just points in that direction that it's a freaking Sapien yeah. from Hellboy. Sure, Del Toro's in the touch to the new series, but who knows? Maybe he could finally have his wish of making an Abe Sapien spin-off film and just kind of segueing his, like kind of passing the torch to this new franchise. You know, it's unfortunate. Everything is the worst. I really want to see that movie. I did too, Grace. I wanted to see that fish <laughs> if, only, <laughs> <laughs> if only, uh, we didn't, you know, if only they didn't pull the movie out of the theaters. So, so last second. It's very unfortunate. I don't wanna... It feels like a personal attack. It, it really does. Um, I, it I myself. Like my family has been killed. It feels like I can relate. I've yeah. been sleeping and I wake up to my family being killed. Yeah, that you know that'd be a. I'm getting kind of slurry because I can't feel my lips. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the same <laughs> way too. You know, but uh, you know, hopefully there's a end to all this trouble because I think Pennywise the clown lives right under there, or some pedophile does at least. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, he's not letting go. Oh, wait, hold on, sister, not without me. 
What if he doesn't see that I'm right behind you and he just takes you and then I'm stuck all alone? And you don't even get to die like that. Exactly. It was so upsetting because I draw a lot and so I follow people who draw like on Instagram, social media, things like that. And this person that I really admire and look up to, <laughs> they became a clown f <laughs> Oh, that guy drove by and like you could feel like the exhaust and it was warm. It, it was a little warm, yeah, warm. I felt that too. I thought that was just me getting like so cold to the point where my body's tricking itself, <laughs> no. like hypothermia or something. It takes a lot more. <laughs> anyway, but um, and so they draw Clussy and I'm like, Boy, I hope they're happy when they become a clown. Oh, I thought you were saying like I hope they're happy. Oh. Out this movie from so many theaters. Can't can't you wait till we experience this kind of weather like every day in New York? Because because ooh secret secret we secret. we we might be maybe doing something big in New York, but uh, this yeah. channel may or may not know about it. I don't know. My chicken fingies. My chicken. <laughs> you okay? No. Out here. But darling, it's cold outside. I really can't stay. It's a creepy rape song. <laughs> Love my glasses because they're the transition glasses and they change color so I can see to my utmost level. But the thing is like if I do like any eye makeup, it's just like no. <laughs> Womp. It's like no you didn't. See so look at this. I did stuff with my face. Hold on, maybe we need to stop so that way the camera <laughs> oh. can focus, maybe. Yeah. Woo! Stuff yeah. With my face. I like how one eye was just closed. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> oh, my nose is starting to run. Uh oh. I think that's a sign that we should probably just turn this off because, you know, <laughs> life is just a cold, dead, unfeeling grip. Weren't we just talking about how, like, you're not alone in your pain and being real inspirational, and now we're talking about how life is just. Endlessly cold and you're in its vice-like grip. Yep. For all of eternity until it finally until finally to squeeze the life out of you. And then you feel a sudden warmth rush at you. And then finally you're and then free. You're surrounded by your dead animals like Binky the goldfish. Oh, I love that guy. He was a good guy. That's oh what... yeah, and you can be surrounded by dead movies too, like the Disaster Artist. Yeah, you know. The water. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again, so I'm gonna turn this off because no one needs to see my tears freeze my eyeballs and I go blind. <laughs> get, get, goodbye. Vlog one is over. Just like the rest of my life because the disaster artist didn't come out, so I'm gonna. Yeah, we're that fickle. I'm gonna kill myself.